Hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to discuss about class and static keyword in Swift. Okay, so let's try to first see this simple class where I've created class person which has name property and then it has a function called print my name. Now, if you want to access this print my name, so what you need to do, you need to create an instance of this person class and then only you can access it, right? Like if I directly try to access it using person dot, I cannot access this print my name. See, it will ask you to have an instance of the person. Okay. So then how can I access this? So for that, what we have to do, we have to create this instance like this and then I can access my print my name using this instance. Okay. Now, what is then this is static and this class keyword and then how we can create functions and variable using those keyword. Okay. So let's say that for example, if I have a static function instead of uh, instance function. So static function and I'll just call it as print my address. Okay. Now to access this static keyword, we don't need to have an instance of this uh, uh, person class like for example the most of the common uh, scenario we use static is when you want to make a class singleton right you just create a static variable so that you can access it from outside instead of creating this uh, object anywhere else okay so now if i want to access this see i can just write person dot print my address you don't need to have any instance to access this static variable okay so what we can say that the static variables belongs to class rather than belonging to the instance of this class or not just class we can also say to a structure okay now the second keyword what I have written here is a class so let's create one more function and call it as class and here let's say I just write print my role okay now to access this class function also you don't need to create an instance of this class I can access this using this person dot say print my role okay so both looks similar and uh, like uh, when I you know discuss in terms of to access how to access these two uh, functions so both are exactly similar but the question generally comes that then what is the difference similarity we have just seen that both we can access it without creating instance but in which scenario we can just create class or in which scenario we have to just use static okay now we can also create a variable using this static and this class keyword let's try to create a variable also first so let's say that i have a static uh, where or let's say static let um, name we have i'll just call it as country and call it as india okay and see to access this also you don't need to have person instance so i can directly access person dot country so you don't need any instance of this person to access this but let me try to write the same thing using class let's say the class let uh, role equals to mobile app developer okay now when you write with class see it the compiler gives you error and what is tells you that the class store property is not supported in classes did you mean static so one difference now we have found when using class and static keyword when defining a variable that you can have a variable with a static keyword but you cannot have a stored property with class keyword okay so that's the first difference but can we declare a property with class keyword the answer is yes but you have to declare a computed property not the stored property so let's say that if i write something like instead of this i can write a string let's change it to where and then i will return this and now the error will go so we can declare a computed property using the class keyword but we cannot declare a stored property using the class keyword that's the first difference between the class and the static keyword okay now let's see another difference now 
here let's say that if I'm just commenting down everything and let me create another uh, class called let's say person so I can create let's say man which conforms to person okay now when this class conforms to this means inherit person that means I can override the if I try to override let's say uh, print my rule so what is this print my name print my name is normal function so if I write it see I can override it no problem in overriding a general function now let's try to override the static function so here I'll just write print my address but you can see that I am not getting print my address in my subclass I am getting print my rule but not the address so here is the second difference that when you define a function with a static keyword you cannot override into the subclass you can override a class function but you cannot override the static function Okay, so till now we have seen two differences first in terms of the function that if a function is with class then we can override it but if the function is defined with a static we cannot override it and the second was with a variable that I can have a stored property with static keyword but I cannot have a stored property with a class keyword okay now let's change this class to a structure okay now, now the first error that you see it, it comes in the class variable okay on the class function that class property are only allowed within the classes use static to declare the static property so what we saw the another difference that class only belongs to the class property we cannot use class on a value type which is a struct okay so it is asking me to replace this class with the static let me just do that so that the error goes away so now this is a static keyword okay and the same thing here also it is asking to replace this class with the static keyword okay so that's you saw that it's another difference now obviously the class uh, structure doesn't support inheritance so it is giving error here also so I'll just comment this out now let's see one more scenario to differentiate between between the static and the class keyword now let's say that if I have a protocol and uh, here I'm going, going to call this protocol as employee and let's say that this protocol have a function get salary okay this is a normal function and let me try to create another function with class keyword and see if it allows me so class function get pay date okay now the moment you write with class keyword it is throwing you another error that class method are only allowed within the classes so we have to replace this with the static keyword so inside the protocol also you cannot use class keyword you have to use a static keyword if you want to define that the function okay okay that's a major difference between the class keyword and the static keyword in Swift. Okay, so that's all for uh, today's video. Hope you have uh, enjoyed this video. And if you have really enjoyed this video, then please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you.